come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the dark garbage man. Stop up! These are the moments when everybody gonna load it. We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense No matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense In Jamaica's relentless war and crime The worst criminals End up on the true island story platform These are their stories Welcome to True Island Stories. This is a part seven of Dog Paw, a history of violence, where we talk about Lasko, who was Bill the Dunn's brother, and a little segment with Mumpy Zeke's. Well on to your sis, Augustone Badness Cat Club. We know there are always several sides to a story. To the outside public, Christopher Dog Paul Linton was a violent degenerate. But close to him, if asked, some will probably paint an entirely different narrative of how he was a good youth and how the system failed him miserably. But the fact of the matter is, he was grown. He was an adult who was granted the privilege of free will and he chose. He received something most top flick flickers in his predicament who gets convicted and goes to jail does not get. And that's a second chance. And as this series continues, I hope you guys are sharing the Guru's artistry. Just a show of appreciation for the work that's, you know, being put in to get the info, arrange and narrate the content to your pleasure. Or displeasure to some, I don't know. The fanged venom led a life of destruction he took from and gave to, creating an illusion to the receivers that he was a good person. But what about the losers, hmm? The fleers? I bet they are singing a different tune. Hmm? Renowned environmentalist Miss Dan McCauley described Dog Paul as a lovely young man. Wonderful young man who the system failed. Well, uh, you, my lady, are speaking like a politician trying to tabulate right wing majority votes. Or are you just naive as all get out? Not being disrespectful. Just for argument purposes. Or maybe, you know, it's simply it's just because you just have a good old heart. Nothing's wrong with that. But I bet you if the police took you and one of his bloody crime scene that your beloved was responsible for, would you be singing the same tune after? Would he still be your, how you say it, your wonderful dog paw? Or what if a video was released with him in live action, slaughtering his victims mercilessly in cold blood? Hmm? Will their thought process be as positive and cozy as it is now of him? Question, have you even given thought to the fatherless kids and the widows he had made in his voyage of violence and plunder? Ask a mother of one of his victims, how does her heart feel knowing that Pa killed her son? Or the son of the father that he shot brutally right before him? Ask him, how does he feel? And then what will your answer be? Hmm? You see, madam, if we're going to use the word wonderful, there's a time and a place and a certain climate, if you will, in which to use it. And I would not suggest it be used in this present here climate. Because perceptions are never reality and your perception, I'm sorry, but... It's nowhere near the fang, the villain's notorious reality. I am truly sorry. You assisted him and his brothers in their early years to the point where he went to St. Hugh's prep. Now, that's wonderful. Brilliant. Then he went on to the prominent Jamaica College because of your generosity. And he went on to win several academic accolades in his first year. Bravo, bravo. He was on the right road. He was being rooted for by his mom and close well-wishers in his family. The good side. 
if you will. And do not let me forget to commend you, firstly, on your philanthropic gestures. I personally salute you. You tried and would implore you to keep on trying because if we get one good apple out of the ten, then that can be considered a resounding success because that one that we saved could have been another Hitler or a Bin Laden, another Trump, another bro God. <laughs> I lock down the place and I'm hungry. <laughs> a joke, a joke, <laughs> a joke. That's that, that just a joke. So, no matter, take me off an aircraft out of out an airport, because I know you think powerful. So, that's just like a, a story I tell you. So, I don't mean nothing. So, I don't mean nothing. So, I'm still out of phone business. But, in our local diaspora, another dog, pa. <laughs> you know? So, everyone, what we see here, we can avoid having one of those monsters. And remember, you know, if one let go, or one we receive could have been a monster. Remember that one alone can kill probably a hundred. Him could have been a Dukes man. Him could have been a Natty Morgan. Could have been, you understand? And then the influence for him influence other people around him to go and kill other people. So if you look upon that one person, not only his actions that he does physically, but the influence that he influences others, and then the influence that those people that he influence are able to influence others. You understand? Do, do, am I making any sense? Am I making any sense? Okay. I'll proceed then. If you allow me. By no means. Miss Diana, I want you to misconstrue my verbiage as an attack towards you because by God our society needs more people like you. Who gives us a real shot? So thank you for all your efforts and may God richly bless you and grant you serenity for the rest of your natural days. Alright, you're gonna step off of that now and step over yes sir and at this. Alright, remember we talked about birdie. You know, I think about episode 3, the lone pilgrim they were not taking no talk from nobody, man, produced them on nobody. All right. Remember, me telling us that he was, yo, go listen back to the episode, me now go for back the story. But he was Ajibel's influence, and Ajibel was Dogpa's influence. Okay, a deeper look into the Badman Lantern disclosed that Bird was never dead in London, as I had suggested. Guess what? I don't mean, want to correct myself, and all right, because I'm not business. I'm not going to know the thing I'm going to like, I know it. I mean, never me I correct myself, all right? So thank you for allowing me to be honest, all right? Thank you, guys. So, Bird never did in the London, because you a bird come back home, slap with your own name, Jeffers, and kick off back the wall, brawl. So, after that, now them go so boom, and skidded and run and go to the east, go dash a summer out there like empty McDonald's bag. And then we can't talk about bird and not talk about Lasko. Now Lasko was Bill. And Bill now was the Dan brother. Lasko and Mampi not take tea none at all. Thinking man say Mampi them use police a dash a Lasko. But you see before him dead, yo Lasko lead a squad go up a hermitage. Lone rifle stifle. A started rounds. Clump, 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 Yo, a four get slapped up the day. Four dirt matches and four dopey comforter. Last car, run a bill and mampy them. Yo, so him tell himself, say, yo, I hear my dan. No bill get the other say, last car gotta go. After him and birdie slap on Sagonis. Mamma tell him Sagonis. The bird slap, go check by the other series. Nuff man, that's a Lasko still, you know. All Bill's son name take Lasko side. <coughs> After Bill run a Lasko. Warm to Bill. Boy, he may not get 85 to life in a Merrimack or somewhere over here. But the man himself, Lasko, that feel himself too much here, sir. Yeah, I do the most of the least for the chap. He should have a bag of pilgrim around him. And no few that's a last call. Marlowe crew, them renegade, them dog. Yeah, man. Jeremy Max, dirty dozen crew member. I don't know them that's a last call. 
I mean, I go on the most time. I tell you, I have a dance of August Town or work. I go on a joke, August Town, I'm still there. Alright. You see, one time, Bambi Six and Bill Son kick off on the choppy brawl. And Bambi Six goes so, I reel up and go so, what are you? And cut Bill Son a loud difference in nine years, kind of clay. And Mara see that I reel up back and go so, clay in a Bambi Six temple and knock out back Bambi flat, flat and dirty. Yo. The man them think man be dead to post Nicola. You see all Max? Max is like your feelings in Neil from long, long time when him slap Jerry Max across him face in the body, yeah, man. Neil, who up my papi supply across Jerry Max face, brother, broad boat, black, black. But Jerry never cry. Jerry never ball. Mongo say, yeah, my most kill a post them, man, yeah? And bring a puzzle at name flap right and the place to see him they come slap or something rolling pan the chop here. Clip, 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 clip. We have come to the end of part seven. Join us soon for part eight. On the dark part series, a history of violence. Remember, I'm not going to go nowhere in my next bed kick off on the chop here. And Roger them and the man them. So I'm going to go now, the next part, part eight, and then close the series. So the next part. Close the series, the finale coming up. And then after that, now me are going to see you span this bit. Say you know the badness go. Remember, Trial and History Channel. Give me a subscription on it. We have the book out there. Darker Side of Paradise, the audio books. So you guys haven't get your copy, you know, go and grab a copy, you know, support the guru. Written and narrated by the guru. It's doing very well. Rave reviews. That go on, never expect it for you to do so well. Thank you guys. You know what I mean? New merch on the perch. Me I love merch on the perch. I said merch on the perch. You know, so you know the thing I got. It's supposed to upload anytime now. So bless up on yourself, people. You would stay out of trouble, walk the straight and narrow. Don't be a dark pa. Don't be a criminal element. Use up your natural resources around you. You see me, I say, try stick to positive people. You will learn positive things. All right? Bless up on yourself. But if you choose to pick up the gun or the knife, then there's a chance you might end up on trial and so is what? Will you choose a... Why do you ask them to come like the one here, the holy grail in the man? Huh? I hear you with me. Question. What will you choose? Let God gonna come and TIS news. What will you choose? Cry peace all day in the field. What will you choose? Let God gonna come and CVM news. What will you choose? Choose, choose, choose. Don't say that with the touch. Night time, them run out full of dark. Guns on one nada, everything a sparks. But who are the piranha? Which one are the shark? Moon and black are rims, but the cat same soft. And I estimate the pass and then get them at dark. Screamers and white dream and them a war. Whole place fuck up from them gone with the boss. Scare them, we dream and rock man dark. Whole place someone from them like a playboy. When the man drop, and who get the joy? Panty eyes, you turn star, but what will you choose? Let God go to come and TIS news. What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field. What will you choose? Let God go to come and CVM news. What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field. What will you choose? What will you choose? What will you you choose a, uh, what me? You choose a. Uh. Charlie wa black down rock foot. Mikey Pelp, dead in our boat. No, no jack, but him badness a good. Jet Lee, make enough man fail for God. Chubby Jed and Pogo out of salt. Nothing more than you, enough man in mud. Junglies, them we kill you, then go burn down your house. See a lane, I think that TNN, I don't know no more. Well, you do the crime then, you do the time. Can't escape, you can't blur the line. I choose the fifth and tear off the same And you can't mix up looks, man, with up a film Marcel Port Malone assassin One more shot to the court by the bing Rock court rise the four and the god that I sing What will you choose? Let God go to come and TIS news What will you choose? Cry peace and dead in the field What will you choose? 
Let go, they gonna come and see me M news. What will you choose? Choose, lose, 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 l